Hello. Hi, I'm Catherine. I'm James. Hi, I'm Catherine. Hello there, Hi. I'm Becky. I'm a scientist at the University of York. Um, I'm working in an Arthritis Research UK funded laboratory. I'm 28 years old. I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis when I was 14. I'm a research scientist. I have osteoarthritis in my hips and in my lower back. It's not something that's going to stop. You know, it's that constant thing that I might need more surgery. Mm. Being told at 20 that you need a hip replacement, my world broke down. I always asked, why me? is going to get to a stage eventually where my only option at this point will be a hip replacement. You're purely managing the condition, aren't you, until I guess yeah. you get to the point where it's so bad that you end up having to have a, yeah. a full replacement. And things like, you know, the, the treatments that I can take now, but you get to a stage where they don't work, yeah. and well, what's the next step then? So maybe I should tell you a bit about what we do in, in, in the lab. It's probably quite a foreign environment if you've never been in the lab before. Yeah, very. Um, so the main aspect of our research is working on adult bone marrow stem cells. Um, Arthritis Research UK are funding researchers like me in there to try and find alternative therapies for osteoarthritis. So what we're, we're doing at the moment is trying to, to work out the kind of best stem cells that we could use to try and be delivered to patients. In a younger person they would normally be sort of repairing you know basic mm. wear and tear and as they age there's a reduction in that capacity to repair yeah. and I'm interested in um, how I can take stem cells from patients with osteoarthritis and rejuvenate them. This is me not knowing very much really. Would you take the stem cells out and then put them in some where I need them basically. Yeah, so prospectively taking your own cells from your own body, perhaps culturing them, choosing the right kind of stem cell to put back. Or the other alternative for us would be to um, would be to test drug treatments and see if we can stimulate that, that reparative capacity in the cells that are already present in your mm. joints. So if I just had the option of the stem cell treatment, I wouldn't have needed the hip replacement at 20. It's exciting for somebody who might need knee replacements in the future to know that that might be an option. But I'm not at a stage where I want to consider no. anything as invasive as, as hip replacements. So if I could find a treatment that could allow me to live pain free. What we as researchers aim for in the you know the big picture is to reduce pain, but it's to improve what's available for you now. So that means that people don't have to have a joint replacement.